and welcome to France 24's weekly music show. I'm Marjorie Hash and our guest this week makes beautiful gospel folk music whilst playing with 60s aesthetics. Earlier this year she released her debut solo album on Jack White's label Third Man Records to critical acclaim and has just dropped an exquisite follow-up EP entitled Keep Those Teardrops From Falling. She's also recorded a track with Beck and is currently on tour around France and Europe. Natalie Bergman, thank you so much for joining me in the France 24 studios. Thank you so much for having me. Now you've, your first album is absolutely beautiful and I know that it was written uh, off the back of a tragic event where your father was killed in and stepmother were killed in a car accident. You after that went into a silent retreat in a monastery in New Mexico and suddenly you turned to gospel music which was a turn for you musically. How, how did that happen? Can you tell us a bit about it? Um, yes I'd, I'd love to talk to you about that. Um, I After losing my father I I realized that I needed to spend some time alone and and um and I went to this monastery in the desert of um of New Mexico. It was near the Chama Valley. It was actually right along the Chama Valley and it was a really quiet place and I, it allowed me to think and reflect and process my grief and um that was sort of the origin of my early stages of making the record. Um, I started coming up with some lyrics there and um, some tunes in my head. And then when I got back to Los Angeles, that's when I started to record these songs. Mm, and it really, really affects um, grief, but also a faith as well, which is why the gospel music really highlights it as well. Um, your uh, album came out on Jack White's uh, Third Man record. Uh, how did that uh, happen? How did you get signed? Well. I have a friend named Warren DeFever, and he is he's a close friend of mine. I've known him for years, and he is the mastering engineer at Third Man Records. And when I was writing these songs, I was showing them to him, and he just loved them. And he said, you know, I think the, I think the label would really enjoy hearing this music. And, and so I sent, them, I sent them the record, and they loved it, and they invited me to be a part of their family, and it's just the best label. I, I couldn't ask for a better team of people to work with. Mm -hmm. Well, how about we check out, you've got your new uh, single, which is really fabulous and very inspired by the uh, 60s and 70s artist, Joe Cocker. <laughs> Those teardrops from falling, a follow-up uh, to your first album, Mercy, and a fantastic video. Uh, we're talking about Joe Cocker, um, so really influenced you. It was a TV appearance he did. I mean, I love Joe Cocker all the time, but I was I was watching the film um, Feeling All Right, and it's just this very groovy setup, and girls are dancing, and there's kind of a parade of dancers around Joe Cocker, and I was like... If he can make this music video, I should be able to make this music video. So right before we left for tour, I um, I got the band together when we were rehearsing, and and uh, we just we made this just last week. Mm -hmm. No, fantastic! So it's fun to go alongside the tour. Mm -hmm. And the sixties obviously heavily influenced. You know, you had the artistry of your music videos, your visual aesthetics. Uh, there's also a lot of art house films, I feel, infuse your, your music videos, but also a bit of Dadaism. Mm -hmm. uh, how, what place and what kind of art really do you like, enjoy yourself? Um, I mean, I love some of those early 60s artists like Sister Corita. Actually, this, this video, Talk to the Lord, was very inspired by this nun mm -hmm. that I love. Um, she's from, she came out of California, Los Angeles, and she was making all of this political artwork, um, standing up for human rights, and she was a radical artist and used lots of um, sort of large block print, color, colorful. She she made a lot of um, kind of propaganda posters, and um, I just love her so much, and I love her spiritual message, and she inspired some of the artwork that I made um, to go along with the album. 
Mm -hmm. And now going back on tour and taking this look, because obviously you and your band uh, fully embrace it visually, not just in the music videos, but also on stage. I, I imagine, what's it like being back after like two years of pandemic, kind of? Oh, it feels nice to play these songs. I, When I was writing the album, it was such an isolated experience, not because of COVID, but because I needed to go inward and it was such a... Um, a personal record. Um, so it's been so nice to bring the music to the people with a band and it feels so good to play music again. And what's it like playing France in particular? So oh, far? I love France. I love playing here tonight. We're going to play Paris, which is one of my favorite cities. And um, last night we played Lille and the mayor of Lille brought me flowers. <laughs> Fancy that. <laughs> it was really nice. And but we were doing we haven't done any laundry on the tour <laughs> and we've been out for a few weeks and so we had all of our laundry around the green room and then the mayor came in and I was like, This is so embarrassing. Instead <laughs> of very have, hanging out your dirty washing literally <laughs> yes. or clean washing at this case. Um, it's like, pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> what are what are your next plans after this tour? Well, we'll go back to Los Angeles and then we have another tour um, planned for a US tour planned for the spring. Mm -hmm. And so we'll get to play some of our favorite rooms again. And mm -hmm. Well, that's exciting. Nice. Well, how about we take a look at some of uh, the other music news that's been uh, making headlines and coming out and also being released this week? Uh, we're going to start off with a man who says he has no plans of retiring as he's just turned 70. Former police frontman Sting is back with a new solo record entitled The Bridge, which was influenced by love, loss, lockdown as well as social and political turmoil. Some tracks are very jazzy and others, like this one, are pretty upbeat. I remember the story of Jonah He was trapped in the belly of a whale How many times must he succeed? How many times must he fail? This is the sound of rushing water One of the tracks taken from Sting's 15th solo album. Uh, Natalie, do you see yourself having a long career like Sting? Absolutely. Sting looks good. Yeah. He's so handsome. I liked the sort of minimalism of that of that video. It's He's in that empty chamber. Yeah. And so were, were the police a big uh, influence of yours? The police were a huge influence when I was growing up. Um, in a way, he kind of showed me that you could be a white man that's inspired by reggae music and um he he was just a huge inspiration to me yeah, um, yeah, yeah. all of those cool kind of rock steady ska songs that he was doing were perfect yeah they made my heart beat <laughs> well maybe this track will make your heart beat too it's another artist who is over in tanzania uh, sina na ubi uh, sawosi and uh, he's been making music deeply rooted in gogo -go traditional music he started off dancing and playing the drums but is known for playing traditional instruments like the zizi and singing in both gogo -go and swahili the award-winning artist bridges ancient and modern music and sees it as his mission to preserve the heritage of the sawosi dynasty he's one of the tracks taken from his new album, Tanzania. Ubi Sawosi. Uh, what did you think of this idea of like dynasty and prolonging heritage? Is that something you, you're conscious of in your own music? Absolutely. And that was just so beautiful. I've never heard that music before. So mm -hmm. thanks for sharing that with me. Yeah, no, that's great. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, reminder that your wonderful album Mercy is already available as well as the new EP and you should definitely catch Natalie Bergman on tour. Uh, we are going to have to round up the show because the France 24 news is coming up in just a few uh, minutes. Remember our website, france24.com, where you can find all the cultural news 
news as well as our Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. You know the drill. Uh, we're going to play out with Beyonce, who's back with a new track, Be Alive, which is set to appear on the soundtrack of the new Will Smith film, King Richard, where he plays the father of a then future tennis star, Serena Williams. Queen Bee, take it away. the fire. 